sometimes people say that music, it doesn't matter if you just change the lyrics. Uh, you can transform a worldly music to a Christian music, but music by itself, even if you don't know the lyrics, it conveys a message. A message. If you go to Japan and you want to sleep a baby, you cannot play this. Don't get slept. <laughs> Conveys a message. When I was doing my internship in Mexico, I was sent to a city in the south of Mexico, very tropical uh, city. And then, there, in order to go to the hospital, I had to take a, a bus, but a small bus. You need to scrouch inside to get into the bus. And that, in that city, all the transportation has music, loud music. So early in the morning I had to take the bus and I was there in the bus with the music shaking my voice. Of course when I get down from out of the bus it was all the music, the rhythm. That Friday I took that bus and that bus had a music that was talking about a girl. A girl, a blonde girl, who wants more, more and more. You know what she wants. She wants more and more. And the music said, and the woman and the girl wants more. Give her what she wants. Give her what she wants. Give her what she wants. I don't listen to that music. I listen to King's Herald. <laughs> Steve Green. Oh, so nice music. But, when I was working in the hospital, writing the notes of the patient, that woman, my food was tapping at the floor. The same music, the girls once more. The girls once more, the girl once more. Give her what she wants, give her what she wants. What's doing that music in my mind? If I ask you how many hymns you know, you have you know more songs. 